Hello everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm going to talk to you all about Cotton Jersey. So I had promised to do a series of videos about different fabrics. Now I'm starting with stretch fabrics, jersey fabrics, because they are kind of what I say I specialise in in terms of sewing and so I know a little bit more about them than I do woven fabrics. So in this video I want to talk about some of my fabric stash, so cotton jerseys that I've got a little bit about cotton jersey, some garments that I've made so you can see kind of the structure of it and suggest some great sewing patterns for sewing with cotton jersey. Now I would say cotton jersey if you're going to start sewing with knit fabrics is the one to start with. It's the most kind of, people always recommend Ponte but I feel like making a cotton jersey t-shirt is a really good starting make. You can get some really high quality cotton jerseys in a range of different prices, but you can get some that are a little bit more reasonable. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there's kind of two types of cotton jersey. You've got the 100% cotton knit fabric, which is what I'm wearing here. So this is where the cotton fibres have simply been knitted and that gives them a slight bit of stretch, but you're lacking in the recovery. So things will stretch slightly, but not stretch quite back. So this fabric is an organic 100% cotton knit and it is slightly stretchy. So you can make a jersey pattern with it, but it doesn't have that much stretch. And so you want to make a pattern with this type of fabric that doesn't have negative ease. So quite often in jersey patterns, they make them slightly smaller than your body so that you then stretch and so they fit nicely. I've made a molly top with this one, but I did size up and I really love this. I think it works really well. You don't get 100% cotton jerseys that often. When I went to Japan, they had them everywhere but actually in fabric shops in the UK so much you don't get them. I got this one from Stoff and Steel, they do often have them, but you just need to remember that you need to pick a pattern that doesn't have too much stretch, otherwise you'll, you'll feel quite um, claustrophobic kind of in the garment. But really pleased with this one. On the whole, the cotton jerseys that you get contain cotton and then either elastine or, or elastane or lycra, and that additional material is there to help aid recovery. So the cotton is just the same as it would work in this, it's knitted together. The lycra or elastin is added to aid recovery so when you stretch it out, it stretches back. And even if you wear it for a whole day, it won't end up being baggy and drapey by the end of the day. So that, that's why that elastin there. It does mean that anything with elastin or lycra you can see it kind of break down so you might see over time that your jersey makes get little white fluffs on them and that's simply the elastine or lycra breaking down the cotton doesn't tend to break down quite as quickly but it is the elastine that causes that to happen sometimes that happens more quickly through frequent washing from washing on a really high temperature from timber drying from uh, ironing on a really hot setting because that can just reduce the structure of the elastine. And the same as if you, I, I sometimes put my t-shirts on the radiator to dry, but actually that is not going to make your garments last as long with a uh, cotton jersey. So on to some of the garments you can make with cotton jersey. Now I won't try them on, but I can post in pictures so that you can uh, see. So first up, we've got this one. Now this is actually a recent make, it's the Georgie dress by Sew Over It and this is in a really beautiful quality cotton jersey from Namazi Fabrics that I was gifted to make this dress for a blog post. Now with this I wouldn't recommend making the Georgie dress as it is in a cotton jersey unless you want it to be nice and snugly warm for winter. I've altered this, I've removed the lining and instead I did a double fold to finish the neckline. Now, because this is cotton jersey, it's a lot more structured, so it's gonna allow you to do a double fold without it stretching out too much. Even with my t-shirts with cotton jersey, I don't often put cotton tape in the shoulder because I don't find they stretch out too much. You, you When you have a cotton jersey make, you're looking at something that has slightly more structure. It is can still be really drapey, but it does have slightly more structure than say a viscose jersey. You will find often you can make dresses from it, people will make pyjamas from it, and also on standard it's used for making t-shirts. So that's my first one. 
then we've got two more dresses so the next one is this one this is my Freya sweater dress from Tilly and the Button stretch book and this one I've finished with a neckband so in terms of finishing you could finish it with a double fold now if you want to know how to do that I will link the video down below but it's my jersey question answers video I'll show you how to do that so this dress I finished with a double fold this one I finished with a neckband both finishes work really well for cotton jersey the neckband I've just overlocked it and then top stitched it down as well now this has a little bit more structure so with the Freya dress it kicks out just a little bit but I really like that and I think this dress has held up well like over time I made this over a year ago you are able to get things like pleats and although people say you shouldn't really sew darts in jersey actually in a cotton jersey sewing a dart in works as long as you kind of take your time to do it carefully and think about the area uh, how much negative ease the pattern kind of has as well so i do sew darts into cotton jersey well and viscose jersey too i don't really follow the rules when it comes to jersey i think sometimes in terms of finishing your hem the best kind of hem i found is to overlock or finish the edge or you don't have to but then just fold it up this is folded up by two centimeters and then i've used straight stitch to top stitch along the top and that's the best way to finish the, the hem i would recommend uh, with your sleeves you might try a double fold or you might try exactly the same method just folding up once because i think that's going to be neater you do sometimes run the risk with cotton jerseys especially if it's a thicker cotton jersey that it can end up feeling quite thick and so you need to think about that when, with your finishings. I have also made a cardigan in cotton jersey. So this is the Blackwood cardigan by Helen's Closet. And I actually made this one before I had an overlocker and I've adjusted a few bits of it since I've had an overlocker. But you can see that I used the three step zigzag stitch on the inside and then didn't finish the edges. And I will just pop this one on to show you. So this is a cotton jersey that I got from Lubadoo Fabrics and then just made the Blackwood cardigan as per the pattern and you can see that it has a little bit more structure to it but holds up really well for this pattern. For the Blackwood cardigan I think cotton jersey is a good one if you want a lighter weight cardigan or a French terry works really well as well. So that's that cardigan in that one. And then finally, you've got the humble cotton jersey t-shirt, which I think it is a really good first make if you are going to be making things in jersey. Now, this is the Freya sweater, but with a hacked neckline. So I, normally it has a high neckline. But other patterns that I would recommend for t-shirts for jersey is uh, the plantain tea which is really good it's a free pattern from deer and doe i've tried quite a few of the tilly and the buttons ones so you've got the agnes top which i had a bit of struggle fitting the shoulders but if you've got narrower shoulders that might work really well for you the freya sweaters worked really well you've also got the sloan t-shirt by named which has a tie on it which i think has a really nice fit slightly different style for that one in terms of dresses that you could make the Freya sweater dress works well for it as well and I have made the Georgie dress like I showed you and I haven't yet but I am planning to make a Westcliff dress which is by Friday Pattern Company and a Mayfair dress in cotton jersey as well I'm going to try and choose a kind of thinner weight cotton jersey to do that to be honest any jersey pattern out there probably can be made in cotton jersey it's a nice standard one to go for so in terms of looking at fabrics i've got two kind of favorite cotton jersey fabrics one is an art gallery cotton jersey now when you're thinking about art gallery fabrics you are thinking about expense more so so they range from about 20 to 24 pounds a meter so if you're making a t-shirt you probably only need a meter but then you are looking at paying 24 pounds for obviously one t-shirt now this is one example of a art gallery cotton jersey 
Now, it's really tricky. They come in such beautiful prints. I've got quite a variety um, here. So let me just adjust the camera so you can see. So in this box alone, that one's an art gallery one. I think that one's an art gallery one. That one's art gallery down there. I think that might be it in that box, but in my other box here, I have got, you know, just one at the bottom. This really lovely, bright one. Now, they are beautiful quality. They are a slightly heavier weight jersey, but I think they work really well for t-shirts. They wash well, they have a beautiful range of patterns, so that's really good to work with. But obviously, if you're just starting out, they are expensive fabrics, and I would kind of perfect your patterns using cheaper cotton jerseys, first of all. So, Liberty have done cotton jerseys as well. This is my Liberty print cotton jersey. Absolutely beautiful design slightly lighter weight quality than the art gallery but i think it would work well for a dress with this fabric my other favorite quality cotton jersey which you should be able to get i've seen it in a lot of fabric shops actually my local shop the nylon shop does quite a lot of these for relatively cheap about four pound a meter they're really fantastic quality so this is one that i got from the nylon shop And these are Cutie Kids Collection, basically. So this is the Selvage. Now, any fabric that I've bought from this collection has stood up to washing. It's been a reasonable price and it has beautiful stretch to it, really high quality fabric. And again, comes in really nice designs. So that one is a knit like that. So they've got this sprinkle fabric and then this one down at the bottom here, which you can't see, this one down here is that. And quite a few in my other box of fabrics here as well. So this shell one that I've got. Now, those are also really good quality, but you, they're a bit harder to find. I've tried to find them more online, but they're slightly more difficult to find. In terms of people that you can buy cotton jerseys from, some of my favourite people are Like So Amazing. She always has a really lovely range of planes and patterned cotton jerseys, some really high quality, including, yes, the art gallery fabrics, but also she has had some of these type of ones before as well. I haven't had anything go wrong with any of those cotton jerseys. You can also get some the art gallery fabrics and some other really high quality cotton jerseys from Le Masi Fabrics. So if you are looking for those kind of things, that is a really good supplier. Pin and Sew is also a really great place to go. That is a specialist jersey supplier. She doesn't have as many new fabrics coming in at the moment, but she does has some really high quality cotton jerseys on her site as well as So Me Sunshine, I've bought some beautiful cotton jerseys from Harriet before. Guthrie Garni is a really good place to buy things as well. I, for cotton jersey, quite often go to the nylon shop, which is, of course is closed at the moment, but I do like to go there because they are really reasonable price. And I think this is the thing with cotton jersey is it really does range in price from four pound a meter that I can sometimes buy it to 15 pound a meter to 24 pound a meter so there is a massive range of prices for it but it is a fabric that you can access quite easily and what you're looking for in the fabric is i prefer and this is what i find mostly i actually prefer it when they are um 95 percent cotton and five percent elastin or lycra you can also get them at uh 92% cotton and 8% lycra but I find those they're a bit more stretchy but they don't wear as well because of the increased amount of um, lycra or elastine in them as well. So I've got quite a lot of cotton jersey so I've got quite a few meter cuts that I'm going to be using to make t-shirts and I think that that will really bulk up my t-shirt side of the wardrobe and then I've got a few that are intended for pajamas and things so for example this one that I got from like so amazing so it's got the toe beans on it I'm going to use this to make a pair of pajamas probably potentially the Juno pajamas from Tilly and the Buttons new book 
or I might make uh, the True Bias Hudson pants and then just like a Freya tee or something like that in the other, uh, just to make it a full matching set. Another real favourite fabric is this one. So this is Stoff and Steel. So Stoff and Steel, again, are a good supplier for cotton jerseys. And I just love this little leopard. I think he's so cute. And yeah, really looking forward to making a t-shirt in that as well. So there's a few different things about cotton jersey. If you have got any questions that you would like me to answer about cotton jersey, then please comment them below. And I hope you liked this video learning a little bit more about my stash and makes, but also picked up some inspiration for things you could make yourself in cotton jersey. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.